Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. In my last skincare video, I shared with you guys how I create my skincare routine. And today, you're gonna see it in action. This past week, I've documented my skin routine from start to finish, morning to night, every single day of the week. If you like content like this, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm actually pretty proud with this skincare routine. This is my updated winter skin routine and I think that it has been doing really good things for my skin as of late. And while I do follow a schedule, your skin tends to change and it needs different things at different times. With that being said, I am by no means a licensed dermatologist. I am a skincare enthusiast. With this video, I don't mean to treat or cure anybody else's skincare. This is strictly what I have seen works well for me and my skin type. To tell you a little bit about my skin, I have a combination oily acneic skin type, which can be mildly sensitive. I am dealing with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and as of late my skin has been a little bit more on the drier side because of the winter weather and uh, let's get on with our week okay so today is Sunday evening so after blotting that water away I'm gonna first go in with my toner this is the time revolution the first treatment essence and sometimes I'll use like this padding motion Sometimes I'll use a cotton pad. I try to use 100% recycled cotton pads um, to do my best, but I am looking for some reusable cotton pads that you can put in the wash instead. So please let me know if you have any recommendations. So with that done, we're gonna move on to our nice and light. And this is one that I'm using from The Ordinary. About three drops or so. And then I pat that onto my skin as well. And with any serum that I'm using, I try to use the tips of my fingers as to not make my hand absorb the majority of the lotion rather than it going on my face. Next on my list is my Marula oil. And this is one from The Ordinary as well. And I'm going to put two drops in the palm of my hand. I'm gonna rub that together and then pat that in as well. Last but not least, I have on the list my moisturizer. This is my CeraVe moisturizing cream. Now, if I have an eye cream, I'll use it now, but I don't have one, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more of my lotion right around my eyes and use that as an eye cream. So at this point, I'll examine my skin and see if there's any other pimples that need to be dried out. As of right now, I do see a little whitehead. These are not really uh, potent pimples. They're ones that have gone away. And I don't really have anything active, as far as I can see. So I think we're good. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning, and let's do some skincare. A low pH cleanser. So next, I'm just examining my skin, and I do see a few little, like, whiteheads that I want to get rid of, so I'm taking this uh, acne tool, <laughs> what you call this, and just kind of go into the spots. And while you're doing this, if any of your blackheads or whiteheads or whatever have you on your face are taking a while to come out and you find yourself just really applying pressure, then they're not ready to come out and just leave them alone. So once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and tone. I actually like to just mix it into my moisturizer. And the one that I have, of course, is CeraVe. And I'm just gonna add a drop of that into it. One or two. This is the True Seek of Mineral 100 Calming Sunscreen with Tea Tree by Sun By Me. And I'm just gonna apply this all over my face in an even thick layer. This is a mineral SPF, but it doesn't leave a white cast. I'm actually home today, so I'm not gonna apply any makeup on my skin. I'm just going to go about my business. Monday night for me is more of a treatment night and this day usually consists of a lot of my retinols at night. So um, I just finished washing my face and of course I used the Basha Thermal uh, Black Cleanser and that really helped remove all of the gunk on my face. 
Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead with my Time Revolution once again. So I typically go in straight with my serums as soon as it's on and I don't let it dry whatsoever. But I do want it to be a little bit more dry than usual. And that's specifically because I'm going in with the Alpha Arbutin by The Ordinary. Now this product, you're supposed to apply it to your skin without any water residue, but this is gonna help with all the dark spots. We're gonna go into my best friend, Niacinamide. And you don't need a lot of this, just like a drop or two is fine. Don't forget the neck. And for our retinols, I use the Time Revolution Night Repair Pro Bio Ample from Misha. And this one was recommended um, for combination skin types on the Soko Glam website. So that is something that I did want to use. And so far it's been doing really great things. Then I'll go ahead and layer on a thicker serum. This is the Biosense Squalene Phyto Retinol Serum. And it's more of a plant-based retinol. It's basically a plant that mimics the way that an actual retinol works. So that's really good, especially if you have more sensitive skin or if you have drier skins and you don't want retinol to really dry out your skin. This is perfect. Next, I'm gonna go into my oils. This is the Ordinary 100% Cold Press Virgin Marula Oil. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did this morning. I'm going to mix it in with my moisturizer. It's Tuesday morning and I just finished washing my face with my Low Cage Good Morning Gel Cleanser. And now we're gonna tone. Got my Time Revolution once again. With that just about dry, we're gonna go ahead and put on the Alpha Arbutin by The Ordinary, our niacinamide. For my moisturizer, I'm mixing my 100% plant-derived squalane from The Ordinary once again with my CeraVe moisturizer. While I was moisturizing my skin, I do feel a little pimple on my chin, and so we're going to get rid of it with my Super Miracle Spot Killer Cream from Sem By Me. So I let my moisturizer and my spot treatment soak in for just a few minutes, and then I'll apply my SPF. It looks like I didn't let the moisturizer sink in enough because I am seeing a little bit of white cast. Now I am wearing makeup today, so that should cover it. And as you can see, like it, it's barely a white cast anyways. But that's that, I will see you guys later on today. Good night guys. So I am going to go ahead and take off my makeup. Now I think this is the first time that I've really been showing you guys what I'm removing my makeup with because I haven't worn makeup yet this week. But I love to do a double cleanse and in my routine I have the Innisfree Green Tea Cleansing Oil, this one right here. And I'm just gonna use this as my first step to cleanse my face. So I'll just like really take my time and just enjoy how it feels to massage my skin, making sure to get all of the crevices around my nose, my temples, my forehead, my hairline, because <laughs> I do wear quite a bit of gel on my baby hairs. And then of course, I try not to forget my neck and my chin. I've noticed that using an oil cleanser, some of the oil gets in my eyes sometimes. And with this one, it doesn't sting, but I do feel like there's like a layer or a film on my eyes. And so with this, I don't like to really remove any of my eye makeup. It gets some of it off, but I save a micellar water for that. The one that I've been loving is the Marcel Micellar Water. This is for normal skin. And I'm just gonna use this to remove all of my eye makeup. Make sure to get it underneath my jaw, as well as my hairline. Look how much was left behind. It's crazy. The last step of my cleansing routine is my water-based cleanser. And of course, we're using this Bosch one right here. Tonight, I'm actually going to be using a mask. Um, but before I do so, I'm going to prep with my essence once again. So this one is made with Manuka honey as well as shea butter. And it's supposed to be really moisturizing to the skin. Um, this is what we're going to be putting on. Now, to use this drying lotion, I just have a pair of tweezers and a cotton swab. And I'm going to just dip it in here. Just like that and come straight out. Now it's gonna have the solution, so it's sulfur covered in like a type of alcohol, I guess, and we're dotting that on our skin. I kind of feel around my skin at this point and see if there's anything else that may need a spot treatment. I 
don't feel any bumps at all. So I think we're good. During the course of my dry patch, I have switched out so many moisturizers, a lotion for an actual thick moisturizer, oils I've added loaded into my skin, I've piled on serums and nothing worked. But then I started to think, well, when was I starting to get the dryness? In the morning, my skin is nice, but in the evening, my skin gets dry. After I wash my skin in the evening, my skin is nice again. So what? is happening between those times. And at this point, I think I've narrowed it down to one particular product in my routine that isn't really the likely culprit of my skin dryness. You guys, I think I finally figured out what's been drying out my skin. It's my foundation. Um, this is a Fenty Beauty foundation. They're a regular pro filter and I love it. Don't get me wrong, great coverage blends out really well, it matches my skin perfectly, but this particular formula is more of like a mattifying formula, which would definitely be better in the summertime for my oily combination skin. But in the winter, if my skin's already dry, um, it'd be better to get the moisturizing one. The only time when my skin is dry is when I'm at work. On those days is when I wear makeup. If I don't wear makeup, the entire day my skin is just fine. So I believe it is my foundation. I will be switching this out for my, the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. It's their high coverage one. This was in the shade, um, this one's in the shade 3.2N, Neutral Deep. And um, I'll be using this instead. I wanna really show you guys the power of using micellar water. This was my skin after using my oil cleanser it still had a little bit of makeup and all that good stuff this was my hairline this was all that good stuff this is me with my toner in my hairline and on my jaw everywhere this is honestly the power of using your micellar water as like a pre-cleanse after your oil it gets everything off as always my last step is to examine my skin and see what else i need in terms of a spot treatment the pimples on this side we're going to use this super miracle spot uh kill cream aha bha pha 14 days super miracle by sun by me that's a very long you don't need a lot just like a tiny amount like this should be more than plenty. These sides over here, we're gonna use some benzoyl peroxide. I have this one from Clean and Clear. It's their Persa Gel 5, 5% benzoyl peroxide. And this is what it looks like. A common mistake that I see a lot of people do is use way too much of a spot treatment. You do not need to cover the entire blob. You just need to lightly tap it in. Like it is so powerful. It will do its job. You don't need so much. Tap, 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 tap. And the very last thing that I want to tackle is a little bit of the irritation on my forehead. So I'm going to use the Aven Sickle Fake Cream and just put that on my forehead to help soothe some of that irritation that has been um, growing there. <laughs> and then a little bit here on this place too. I have a little bit of irritation around my eye and a little bit over here. So I just put it anywhere I see like these tiny little dots. I don't think I've shown you guys thus far, but at night I use a lip mask pretty much every day. I use a mask that is pretty thick because my intention is not to wake up <laughs> in the night and I don't want to have to get up to moisturize my lips. Um, now I've never woken out of bed because my lips were dry, but I mean, I want them to be moisturized all night. I go around my lips, the crevices and everything. I make sure everything is covered. I don't care. I look glossy. I look real glossy. Uh-huh. There you go. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Sorry, one other thing. I did mention that I like to oil my baby hairs to make sure that they're nice and like moisturized. If you guys wanna know what's inside, it's my version of another YouTuber's Arya Duvik hair oil. And I've been using it like just on my scalp and my edges and they have been thriving. Um, now, because this has fenugreek in it, as well as on the oil, it's not the best smelling. <laughs> thing in the world it smells like spices like you literally just put a bunch of spices on your head but it works and if it works I'm good <laughs> but now we are ready to go to bed <laughs> bye as you guys can see like my skincare routine is pretty repetitive it's just a matter of what your skin needs in the morning versus what it needs at night I don't think I've ever shown this, but the very last step of my morning routine is adding my SPF to my lips. This is the Blistex SPF 15 with um, mint. It's a sunscreen lip protectant. And this is what I use every day. Today is Thursday night, and so far, I think that I might have solved my issue. And my skin does not feel tight. Like, usually I would get a lot of dryness in my forehead right here between my brows and it would almost look like my foundation is sitting on top of my skin right now it doesn't it, mind you because this is just a change that I did today my skin does look a little bit dry but I actually got oiliness back on my forehead and to some that might sound like oh my god no but for me that is good because that means that my skin is not being like mattified it just felt really hydrated which is nice now i still did notice a little bit of dryness around my mouth um, but once again this is one day of changing that i'm gonna be using the same foundation for the remainder of the days to see if maybe this is the culprit so far i think it may be i got a little cold so i put on a robe as we let our moisturizer soak in as always we're just going to examine our skin for the pimples that we saw, I'm gonna go in with my acne drying lotion from Mad Skincare. I'll see you guys in the morning. So I've been getting a little bit of tightness around my eyes and I decided to use a hydrogel mask in the morning here. This is one that I got from um, Style Korea. Then I get two patches, I put them under my eyes. We can get some hydration up in here and this is gonna stay on as I like get my breakfast ready and do all that good stuff when I'm ready I will come back Ooh. oh oh <laughs> sorry the only thing is it keeps sliding around when I come back uh, we're gonna finish the rest of our skincare routine you guys I am super excited because my oil is back and I don't mean in the shiny greasy gross way I mean the way that my skin doesn't feel dry to the point where scales are falling off my skin and I am so happy but I'm just gonna go ahead and wash all my makeup off in the shower for the past two days I have been noticing a little bit of like tiny dots on my forehead they're not pimples they're not irritation they're just tiny little things and of course i show you guys what my skin looks like with my makeup on so you can see the texture of the skin and then around my nose right here there's a few more now this is the way ahead we know that already but these tiny little dots if someone can tell me what they are i will be eternally grateful they're not on this side but just right here i don't know what that is So that is the end of my week. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video and got something from it, knowing that your skin does change and this is just a glimpse, a small glimpse of my routine. I really hope that it did help you. Please let me know down below some of the skincare products that are in heavy rotation in your routine because I would love to try out some new things. Click over here to check out some of my previous videos and I will see you lovely, gorgeous ladies and gents in my next video. Love ya, bye.